This is Larry the Barberman and today I'm at the Barbarian Barber Shop here in Warsaw, Poland with none other than Adam Darsky. Adam is the owner of the Barbarian Barber Shop. He's a rock star, TV personality and the founder of his own range of beer and apparels. So Adam, thank you very much for inviting me into your shop. Uh, as a black guy from London, I don't get very much exposure to Polish rock stars and TV personalities. So I'd ask that you first start by telling me a little bit about your lifestyle outside of Barbarian before we come into Barbarian and talk about this wonderful shop that you've created. Sure. Well, see, the thing is that you're a black guy from London and I'm a black metal guy from Warsaw. <laughs> 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 so we have something in common. In common, that's good, yeah. No, I, I mean, I'm a originally, and before anything, you know, I'm a musician, I'm an artist, so uh, to be honest, you know, um, definitions and labels like um, a rock star and a celebrity, is, it is not, it's not really in my dictionary, you know, so okay, you know, for some people to, to you know, to give them a picture of where I come from, you know, it might give them you know, a hint where I come from, but originally I'm, I'm, I'm a stage persona and uh, I'm a performer, I'm an entertainer and uh, this is basically my child and um, uh, the ex-owner and myself a couple of years ago we just came with this idea to start a barbershop in Warsaw. Uh, and it was times when there was none almost, there was just one next door. Uh, which is still there and, and there was nothing else basically and um, uh, she brought this idea to me and I started like investigating on barber shops and I like immediately I fell in love with this whole culture and with the craft and with the way uh, they approach life and um, it's, uh, it was just it felt like very coherent with uh, who I am and uh, I had some money to invest and I was like, wow, I mean, it's, that's, that's exactly what I needed. That's exactly where I wanted to channel my energy. So um, I came up with the name Barbarian, which I think is a nice word to play, you know, and, um, and yeah, and this is it. <laughs> yeah, and I, I was going to lead on to that question of Barbarian because the definition of Barbarian is belonging to no main civilization and outside of the shop you kind of... I don't know, portray that you don't, you're kind of in your own dark world yeah. outside of the shop. So I think it's on brand yeah, yeah. with what it is you actually do. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a nice uh, uh, parallel between Barbarian and what I do in my, like, you know, so to say daily job or daily life, you know. Although this is my daily life as well, you know. So it's like, you know, to me it's all about just having like different... Uh, skins or different masks and and each one basically represents different moods or different uh, qu uh, qualities of of your personality and that's it you know so there's really no distraction there's really no uh, um, they just they, they work together nicely you know they complement one another yeah, yeah totally they, they, yeah exactly they complement and uh, even though this I cannot really say that this is artistic, but it's also artistic in a way, you know what I mean? I mean, this is craft and this is profession. This is, this is like professionals working and uh, taking care of, of, of um, uh, you know, men's health or men's uh, aesthetics. But uh, to me, it's also very artistic, you know, and my spirit is there to be, to be released in more in an artistic way than a business way. And that's, I'm more that kind of person here, you know. And uh, I'm really proud of having like a serious input on the way it looks. And uh, it's not like, you know, there's some people from out. It's, it's basically the idea was, it came from the, uh, straight from passion and from heart. So it's really like, no, like, you know, businessman in suit, you know, that just brought some money and some pe people from outside it kind of navigated it. It's, it's a labor of love. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So that's why it's true and that's, and that's something, yeah, maybe you can fake it, I don't know, but this you cannot fake it, it's, it's all real, it's all very organic. Okay, yeah. So, it's got, have you ever visited Shoreditch in London? Yes, I was there a um, couple of months ago. I went to this, uh, actually, that was amazing. I had this experience, you know, I was like, at the corner there's this uh, complex store, 
And I was like, ah, I told my girlfriend and like my friends, hey, let's go and visit this place. And we enter and there was like a, there was like a coffee place, there was like a restaurant, and in the corner, there's a barber shop. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, Splitterfields. Probably. And it's got um, old traditional, uh, not traditional, it looks like a theater. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's called uh, Baba Baba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I approached these guys, you know, and the guy, one of them was like, are you Nurgle? I'm like, yeah. What are you doing here? Yeah, I'm a big fan, blah, blah, blah. So it's a funny conversation, you know, because the, one of the barbers recognized the, the, the um, you know, musician persona instead of, like, I'm, I went there because I was interested in checking out the barber shop and the way it was located and the way it was, you know, the constellation of it was amazing. So we had a, like a short uh, a chat and it was really cool. So yeah, I, I love this neighborhood. I actually stay in uh, Ace Hotel. Every time I go there, I stay in ha Ace Hotel. It's my favorite place there. Yeah, Very Shoreditch, artistic. Shoreditch is one of the coolest places in London. And as I've walked in here, it's got a real Shoreditch feel about it. So that's why yes, I thought Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. There's something, uh, there's like a, this common uh, vibe that we share. So tell me what a client could expect who walked into Barbarian shop. What kind of experience could they expect when they come in here? Well, it's a complex experience of, uh, of quality service that starts with a, a professional approach, very kind and uh, very gentle. Um, and um, there's this loose, very relaxed vibe here, as you can see. Uh, because of the filming we cannot play any music but there's always rock music here so there's like no random radio stuff you know it's 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 very specified very defined um, the character of this place and uh, well I'm I'm, I'm proud um, you know influencer and owner of that you know and that's exactly you know like the stuff that we play on the radio the music and the, the brands of alcohol and it's all um, complementary. It's all, it's all very um, uh, coherent, and uh, it just, it just, it's just like full service. You know, you just, you know, you enter barbarian, and you'll be treated. I like to say as a king, you know, but it just, it's all about just making this nice vibe, get into the vibe, relax, don't stress. If you bring any ladies, or like you bring your wife here. She's fine to stay here. You know, we're not Nazis when it comes to, you know, this whole barber culture, which you probably experienced before, like no women allowed. There's no policy like that over here. But if you bring your wife, let her sit there, have, their, have her coffee or whatever she needs, and admire her husband. Okay. That's, that's Getting sexier by the minute. Huh? Getting sexier by the minute. Downstairs. <laughs> no, I mean, like... I remember like the, the first experiences we, we had here, you know, when, once we opened up, you know, like first weeks, you know, we were just sitting here and I remember this couple that entered a barbarian and it was wife or, you know, fiance of that guy and, and, and she was like st talking on his behalf. Oh, she wants this, she wants that, she wants that. And one of us was like, no, lady, calm down. The gentleman exactly knows what he wants. Let him talk. You just stay calm and watch and admire your husband, all right? So we really put women in the, in, in the right place here. I don't want to sound chauvinistic, but this is a men's place. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like with me, you're going to hairdress. I, I don't like to go there, you know, because this is the women's world, you know, and you just easily get bored, you know? So it's like, it's good that this world, there's like uh, spheres and uh, worlds separated, you know? It's, I think it's healthy. It's healthy for men to be in a men's environment. Pressure. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, I think it's healthy for your brain, you know, so. So let's, um, you've got, when I walked into the shop, uh, I came to the fridge and you've got your own brand of beer. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your brand of beer that you've Well, created. the band that I, uh, that I front for uh, 25 years now, called Behemoth, we just issued like five different uh, types of beer and uh, it's uh, Belgian, uh, like all kinds of stuff, you know, like all craft beers. 
really quality. I'm personally a fan of uh, the only lager that we have, which is called Phoenix. And uh, at the very moment, I think we're out of it, you know. So we got five types. They're very quality. Uh, craft beers uh, issued by, brewed by a local brewery called Perun. They're located a uh, two hour drive from uh, Warsaw. And um, yeah, that's it, you know. So basically, you know, like any mm, customer that come to mm, uh, Barbarian gets all these, you know, grants for free, obviously, you know, all this stuff is just there for them to, you know, to either k kill their time while waiting or just, you know, when they get their service, they can chill having beer or whiskey or really, really good coffee. I'm also a, a big coffee person, so this is, this is my spot, you know, when I want to get the best coffee in town. I, I know it sounds like an advert, but uh, I really mean that. <laughs> yeah, it's funny you should say that because I spoke to Alan Beek, who's quite a big barber at Barber Connect in the UK, and he said that two things that are important in a barber shop good haircuts and good coffee. If you're lacking either of those two, then you haven't got a barber Beautiful. shop. Beautiful, so exactly. It's funny that you should, you should uh, <laughs> actually say that. Talking about time, by all accounts, Barberian is a fully booked barber shop. It's a very popular barber shop. How would you cope? if you didn't have the online booking system like Booksy, because you're a brand ambassador for them. So I'm just curious how much this plays in Barber, Barbarian's organization of time. Well, it just makes, the, makes our work very smooth and uh, much easier you know, to have uh, online um, uh, booking. Simple as that, you know. I mean, like, in the, we started uh, just with the phone calls and, uh, and walk-ins. And, uh, and it was growing, but you know, with Booksy and with uh, online booking, it's just very smooth and it's 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 easy. It's I think it's amazing, and I don't really, I would, I mean, I don't like to think what if, you know, but I, I, I would really, I wouldn't like go back, to, you know, to like three years back when we started, you know, and we didn't have that system. So what it, kind of problems were you having without an online system? Well. Uh, what kind of problems we have uh, with online system? When you didn't have it, what kind of problems was it in the Well, it's, it's way more work for us, basically, you know, it's just writing down everything, you know, just, just it's, it's, you know, the, the, the receptionist is always on the, on the phone talking, negotiating and stuff. So um, it's way more work for us, you know, and with online system, it's just, it, it happens um, in the other world, basically. So uh, I don't know, I mean, like, uh, yeah. What would be your advice to other business people like yourselves who didn't have books in, they were considering it? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, um, uh, I know what our, you know, the, the competition uh, is like, you know, and like uh, most of their policies basically walk in, you know, they, they reject systems like booksy or they don't even make phone calls they just you know do walk-ins and i just i respect that and i respect the like the old school way of it because it's the, this is very old school they want to stick to these old ideas these old ways that's fine with me but i would hate i mean i we wouldn't do it here you know we this is what it is because we use all these systems and all these tools that are there to hand it to us to make our lives easier, basically. So why not to use it, you know what I mean? And um, I'm all about just, you know, the old traditions, like this, this is like the old craft and old traditions, meets the new school. And new school is also online. So I would, I would hate just to be one of these, you know, old school guys, you know, just bashing, you know, the, the new ways. I don't want to do it, you know? I'm all about building bridges. So Booksy is the, is the, is the, is the, bridge that we built to Booksy, you know, and, and online booking. It just all makes sense, totally. So, yeah, do it. <laughs> and do you, can you actually cut here? Yes, with this gentleman, Karol. I have a meeting at, uh, because I'm leaving today uh, for a holiday, so I'm gonna uh, go for like a short uh, a clean up later on. No, can you actually cut here? Mama, versus, myself. Yes. Uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> But I have a clipper with me, so when I go for like a longer run, you know, with a band or something, and I cannot find a, a barbershop, like a local barbershop or something, 
I need to make sure you know to, that you know my 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 bird is be a bit stream, and you know especially like this you know you know these uh, areas here you know it's just I I like to keep it like very clean and and sh kind of short and um, comfy. So you're a bit like myself. You're Adam the barber man. I'm Larry the barber yes, man, and I don't I, cut here. Yes, but I would exactly <laughs> exactly. I'm I'm basically I'm a, I'm passionate about it. I'm uh, this is my business, but also hobby. This is my love and my life, and I'm a huge fan of it. And I'm a huge fan of, this, of these guys, they're amazing. And I'm just being proud of being part of this uh, barbarian family, simple as that. But I don't really have as aspirations and ambitions to become one, you know, I mean, and uh, I don't know, I wouldn't risk that, you know. <laughs> I can risk it on my own beauty, you know, with, with the clipper, but that's it, you know. <laughs> okay. So what, you've got two shops now? Three. Three shops? Two shops in Warsaw and one in Gdańsk, where I'm all originally from. Okay, so what is the future vision for Barbarian? Um, is it to make it better, make it more? Or three, more? Th uh, third year uh, anniversary in a couple of months, uh, in October, I believe. Uh, we're going to have like a huge uh, B-Day party, third year. So we'll be celebrating. Uh, we're doing great with three shops. And uh, we are, I don't want to spoil that, but I, uh, eventually, hopefully, this year we're opening a fourth one in Warsaw also. In Warsaw, okay. So you're going you're gonna to set Warsaw on fire with all your shops? Well, I mean, there's, there's a lot of competition, you know, but it's good, you know, competition is good and, and there's so much variety, you know, and the, the coolest thing about uh, barbershops is that basically, I remember I said that like several times, but, but I, I'd gladly repeat that. And you, if you travel worldwide, you go to hairdressers, or like back in the days they were just hairdressers. You go to them, and I've seen probably dozens of them, and I don't remember one, because they have, there's no charisma there, there's nothing, it's just, there's, there's, there's nothing that would just, uh, there was nothing captivating really. There was nothing that, that hooked me. And I visited dozens and maybe hundreds of barber shops worldwide. And I remember each one. Okay. Yeah, you know so what yeah. I'm trying to say? Yeah, there's, there's individual character. Whereas when you go into a cosmetology exactly. or a hairdresser, it's all glass, yeah. everything's yeah. slick, everyone's yeah, yeah. in black. Exactly. Right. And so. So, so there's a lot of character in barber shops. There's a lot of individuality. There's a lot of passion, a lot of love, you know, because barbers are people, are professionals, but they're also, you know, barber lovers, so to say, or, you know, barber fans, or you name it. They're just, they're just there for a reason. Here at Barbarian, your opinion really counts in Poland and indeed across the world. As a successful barbershop owner, what words of advice could you give to other barber shops who wanted to thrive and succeed as you have done, Adam? It's, it, it basically refers to any business, not just barber business, but I'd say just don't go for success. Don't, don't strive for success for any cost. Just um, if, you, if you do what you love, if you do what you love, if you, if you just straight from your heart, if you truly believe in that, just keep on doing that, you know, and if you're good at it, just perfect it and eventually success will happen, you know, and you will not even notice. You'll just be happy with your life and you'll just embrace your life and you're going to have great clients that will come and appreciate your work. Simple as that. Adam Darsky, thank you very much for this Thank interview. you so much. Thank you pleasure. for sharing these words of wisdom. <laughs> and, I don't know, inviting me into your palace, if you like. Awesome, With thank you. With you set on your throne there. So, thank you, <laughs> salute you. King in the castle. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome.